Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to um, do a full restore or unbreak your device um, if it is a Moto X and this is going to be for any carrier. We're going to use a utility on my computer and it works for any carrier. This is really sweet utility. So I will go through all the steps on this. Um, but the first thing I got to do is just show you how you know what device you're on. So on your Moto X you're going to go into settings go to about phone and you're gonna to wanna to look at right well that's model number that'll tell you some stuff but your build number and some different things in here should tell you uh, what exact version you're running um, basically the only differences you're gonna have is you're gonna have a developer version which is what I've got right here you're gonna have T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon those are gonna be your basic choices on this as you go through the utility so Basically, if your device is functioning, whether you have a custom ROM on or you have root access and you want to just restore it um, back to factory stock, however you want to do it, this is going to do that. If it's bricked and it just does in a boot loop and it won't turn on, again, this is going to get you restored um, as long as you can get into bootloader mode. So, that being said, this is your device right here. It is important that you have a good battery charge. Recommended, I would say 60% battery or more. If you're lower than that, uh, it could shut off in the middle of the process and then you'd be in a deep doo-doo. So right here you can see I'm fully charged, but 60% or more should function on doing this restore. Um, so from here, I'm going to show you guys how to get into fast boot mode and uh, I'll show you why we're going to get in there. So basically, we're going to power off our device. And actually, you know what? We're going to wait. I'm not going to put in a fast boot yet because we got some stuff we got to run from the computer. So we'll get into fast boot mode, but we'll do that when we get to that point. So just from now, we'll leave it. We'll go to the computer and we'll run this utility and I'll show you how this works. Okay guys, here we go. This is the web page where we're going to download this utility. And it's very simple to work on. Um, this is Bat King, And this is by a guy named Matt Groff who is absolutely, absolutely awesome developer. He's done a lot of stuff on Motorola and other devices as well. Uh, so basically, I'll give you a link to this so you guys can get to it. Basically what you got right here is the Moto X Restore Utility. This is what you want to download. So if you have a Mac, you download this one. If you have a Linux, you download this one. So very simple. Um, I have Windows, so I'm going to download this utility right here. So just click on it. You can see it downloading right down here in the corner. And it actually already downloaded. So now I'm going to open up a file that I've already got set up for it. And I'm going to go to my downloads and cut that file I just downloaded and paste it into this folder. It doesn't really matter where you paste it, just paste it in a folder somewhere. It could even be on your desktop, it really shouldn't matter too much, but a f folder is preferable way to do it. So, um, here you go, I've got it in this folder right here. So I'm gonna double click on it and extract it. This is 7-zip, recommend if you're gonna do any Android stuff, just downloading it, it just is a good file to run. Or you can even just go like this and go extract. Normally there'll be a read option for extract here if you uh, don't have 7-zip installed. So. I'm just going to do it this way. We're going to extract it. Hit OK. Close that out. And basically, it gives you this file, which is tools, and it gives you this run file. So, pretty simple. All you got to do is click the run file and walk through the steps. So, first step is it's going to download the drivers. So, on your keyboard, just hit 1 and hit enter. And it's going to download the drivers right here. This is a pretty quick process to download the drivers. It's not really a big deal. Um, there you go. And then it says press any key. So hit the space bar. And it's going to open up a window. And now here's your drivers. So if you have a 32-bit system, you're going to install these ones. If you have a 64-bit system, you're going to install these ones um, for your drivers. And if you don't know, it's always best to try the 64. If they don't work, if it says like it doesn't won't install, then you have a 32-bit system and you install those ones. That would be my recommendations. Um, because if you have 32-bit, the 64 will not install correctly. So once those are done installing, um, like I said, you're just going to click on them like this. It's going to say preparing to install. I have a 64-bit computer. And you're just going to step through the process. When it's done, it's going to say finish and, and you'll have the drivers installed. Like I said, I've already done this. I have the newest drivers. I'm not worried about it. So I'm going to close this out, sure yes, close, and close. 
So the next part of the process is to go to 2 and download the latest firmware. So you hit 2, hit enter, and then you got to pick your firmware. So again, like you can see, here's T-Mobile. That's going to be the uh, firmware you need. Here it tells you the XT, it says, it says your device. So Sprint, AT&T, Verizon, um, right here, if you have the just the general standard one, or Verizon Development Edition. I have the Verizon Development Edition, so I need to download that one. You need to pick the right one for your device. So I'm going to click 5 for me. And that should be downloading it. And then just to make sure that you got the right one, it listed again right here, firmware, Verizon, dev, firmware. So you can see it right there. Um, now this file is probably going to take, depending on your, your network, it's, it's I think a, about a 2 gig file. So you got to be real patient for it to download. I'm probably going to come back to it when it finishes downloading. But while it's doing that, let me just show you what has been created here in your file system now. So right here is the folder with the drivers. These were just downloaded and added to this file system. Here is the firmware and it's being downloaded so it's not all there yet I'm not going to open that one up because it's what's downloading right here in this process you can see mine's going pretty quick I have a pretty good connection speed and it says it's going to be about four minutes for me to download there's your ETA on there so we're going to let this run and we'll come back to it as soon as it's done downloading alright there you go guys you can see that um, <clears throat> download has finished beginning extraction and it's extracting all the files that you need and it is done so folder run restore blah 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 okay we're in restore pre press any key to go to main menu so push the space bar and we're back to the main menu now we want to run this right here is the restore moto x must be done in fast boot mode so here's what i was talking about that fast boot mode um, before we do that i just want to show you one other thing here is this um, update utility and tools so this is really nice right here so if you run this right now you're gonna get the newest stuff and you just did it but if you come back maybe in a month and you bricked your device you can go ahead and run the uh, update utility and tools and it will pull the newest fastboot files the newest drivers and all that kind of stuff and do a full update for you which is uh, extremely nice um, and you may actually even need to um, do the download latest firmware again to get the newest firmware um, but anyway, so that's there. So we're going to go to step three. So hit hit three and enter. And this gives you a whole bunch of prerequisites of warnings about flashing your device and basically saying Matt Groff's not responsible for what you mess up. Um, so read through that, understand it, and we'll move on. So press any key to continue. And now it talks about putting your device in fast boot mode. Uh, press any key to continue once your device is is connected by USB and in fast boot mode. So let's go back to my phone right here and we'll put this thing in fast boot mode. Okay here we go guys let's power this baby on and um, go ahead and turn it off to get into fast boot mode. There you go. Wait for it to power down. And fast boot mode basically is just bootloader menu is basically what it is. So what we're gonna do here is go ahead and hold your volume up and down and power once the thing's been powered off and then let go of them all and there you go that is your fast boot mode um, so from here we're gonna go ahead and connect our USB cable to our computer and those new drivers you had installed through the utility will install and fast boot should be functioning correctly after they install so let's shoot back to my computer we can leave the device just like it is you can see it says fast boot. Um, what does it say? Fast boot reason key pressed USB connected. So that's what's in there. Um, <clears throat> so let's go back to the computer now. All right, guys. So on your computer, you're probably gonna have a pop up over here, and it's gonna tell you that it's installing some drivers. So make sure that all those drivers install correctly, um, and then give it probably two minutes, let's say, for those drivers to install. Um, once they install, we'll go back to the utility here, and we're going to press spacebar again, and it says press any key to check if your device is connected. So now it's going to check to make sure those new drivers are installed correctly, 
that you're not plugged into a USB 3.0 port, which is a blue port. You need to be plugged into a black port on your computer. Um, and then we'll push spacebar again and see if this is working correctly. All right, there you go. So that is your check to make sure your drivers are running correctly. If you have some kind of a number and it says fast boot, your drivers are working and your device is ready to flash. If it does not say that, you need to exit and try getting your drivers to function correctly. I have a video on getting drivers working correctly in my video description down below, so um, you guys can check that out there. So we're good to go. So from here, let's go ahead and uh, push spacebar and start this restore. So here you go, you guys. You can see there's things going on on both screens. On the device, it's going through a bunch of different mm -hmm. things. And there you go, it's still flashing stuff. Again, on both screens, you're gonna see stuff. Um, obviously, writing system and setting system, that is the biggest file on your device, so it does take time. Um, be patient on this thing, don't freak out. Just let it do its thing. Um, and definitely do not unplug the USB cable. Do not unplug it, do not bump it. Do not do any of that because if this messes up right here in this process, you're going to be in big trouble. Possibly a hard brick and then your device is junk. Um, so just very important to pay attention to that. So I'm going to let this process run here and we'll get back to it as it wraps up. Alright, so there you go guys. You can see that it has finished up. And it's actually rebooted out of uh, bootloader mode or fast boot mode. And now my device has got to unlock bootloader. That's why this is on there, that, that last screen. Uh, don't really worry about it. Um, and it's going to reboot. We can go ahead and close our computer program. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Press any key actually says to return to main menu. Then you can press F or press 5, enter, and it'll exit the program. And you can see our device is continuing to boot up here. And this boot process may take a little bit longer because it's got to rewrite some things um, than normal, than normal boot up. So just be patient with it. I'd say you can give this thing up to 10 minutes for this first boot up process to finish the boot. Um, so I'm just going to let it go here. And as soon as it boots up, I'll just show you the phone. We're back to stock again. And that's going to be your full process here. All right, so there you go. You can see that uh, it has moved on to preparing device. So we're getting really close now. This thing should be almost booted up. Um, still preparing device though. All right, here we go. There you go. That's it. Everything is wiped off this device. It is factory reset. Everything is completely wiped. The whole device has totally been restored to factory. You have lost all data. Everything is gone. Um, we can just go through our setup and we'll be uh, back in business again so skip that stuff right now not for now not for now and I'm done shabam there you go that just did a full unbreak slash restore using Matt Groff's um, Moto X restore utility like I said works on um, any carrier any Moto X so that is absolutely awesome great uh, job there Matt on this thing loving it Hope you guys liked this video on unbreaking and restoring your Moto X. And big thanks to Matt. We'll catch you guys later. Root Junkie out.